I had talked to Garrus, and it turns out he actually was a likely sus candidate for being an inspector. The reason he's not an inspector is because his father disapproved of inspectors. But yes, we can talk actually any time. I know things are different aboard the Normandy. Of course so. I'm, I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. How about Tally? You never you have to serve by her. Should they have full access to the ship? Okay. Why? Because they're not an alliance? They helped us defuse a nuclear bomb for Pete's sake. They may not serve the alliance. Of course I can trust them. They helped me out for a few days and a few hours, too. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. Should give them free reign to poke around the vital system. Relax, and I can blow it. I'm not gonna lock them in the sleeper pods for the whole trip, Williams. Williams, calm down. I'd be more comfortable if they didn't have access to inch we humanity. We have to learn to rely on ourselves. We need to rely on others too sometimes. But self alliance is pretty good. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I'm alone, I'm okay with that. But it doesn't mean you have to be alone. I just think we should bet everything on them staying. As noble as the council members say now. Their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. How cynical. You've got a pessimistic view of the universe, boys. You may be pessimistic, but I'm positively negative. Realist. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. It's not racism. Yes, it is. It... Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. Why do you feel that? They seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you My think family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. So, I didn't. Wait, I didn't know you had a military family. I come from a military Oh, that's fine. You're both from the military. Maybe. Guess we have better to say each other than I guess. Couldn't say, Commander. We probably have a lot in common. You join up to carry on the tradition? To see space. The, the future of humanity is out there. Yeah. When we hit mud, the reality hit me. I'm the first person who ever stood. Then my drill instructor kicked me in the ass. I went face first into the muck. He spent the next five minutes chewing me out for gold breaking. Gold breaking? Tell me you had Gunny Ellison. Gunny hey, Ellison is very smart, you know. You went to the Makapod boot camp too. Yes, I did. Gunny Ellison's still dreaming out recruits down there, kicking ass and using words like inveigle and pusillanimous. So you're no, serious? No, sir. Maybe I've been groundside. Groundside. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every marine you deserve right better. Uh, your record is spotless and your technical scores are... Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. I understand your feelings, but it doesn't mean you get to yell at I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. Look, I know you understand you can't... You're not racist, but you... I understand you raise suspicious of my alien friends. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. Tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. And me? Would you kiss anyone I ordered you to? Wait, actually... That depends, sir. That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. That's like... Sir. That's actually I'd like to see, so how are we doing? What's your opinion on the last mission? Kind of wish... You... No offense, I appreciate the record. Wish we did. Yeah. If I had been more alert, I'll make sure it doesn't happen. We'll talk later. Looking forward to it, sir. Hmm, what should I equip with? Heavy armor? Well, I could. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Not considering. Commander? Well, maybe I have to talk about here. Hey, Rex! So, you've got Saren on the run. Indeed, we do! Wait, you actually knew Saren right before we got to actually Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have. I thought it was important. Not fair enough. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the terminus system. And then we guess he took that job. He said it paid well, but the boss was never around. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. Dane. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open. We'd been bringing ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. Well, you never bring any extra credits. When I saw him. I'll give you some extra credit. 
<laughs> but seriously, what was he doing? What did Saren want with the ship? What did want, Saren want this time? Whoops. Because well, everybody has a personal history with Saren. What about Yara? That's the right thing to do. So what was the cargo? Yeah, the cargo was the freighter carrying. I All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. You can use some food for grabbing people, you know. That ship. I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Fair point. But hey, again, I know some people around some planets of the Citadel that can actually use some food. This so whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. The Volus could need that ship. Lots of guards. Is that it? That's the only time you saw it? My instincts were right. Good choice. I work on that mission. Turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Whoa, incredible. You're the only sole survivor of that mission. So, no, okay, mate, you're the only smart person I yeah. ever met. I applaud you on that. Respectability at its finest. Tally? You okay? Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing. And your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. You can get to it eventually. The Normandy runs so smooth it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? It's not so bad. You'll get used to it. You get used to sleep eventually. More than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Oh, I get you're homesick. You were when you're out of place and you're missing your home, you're feeling homesick and you really want to go back to the place as soon as you find but you can't right now because you're looking for supplies. That's understandable. We don't appreciate what we have. Sometimes they go on ships and sometimes they die. You never know. So, but you're going back, right? You do plan to return to the micro fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. At least you care for your people. That's pretty good. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. Priorities. I like that. I should go. See you later, Tally, Nazora, Mariah. Something I can do for you, Commander. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye. Ain't much to talk about. Oh man, it looks. Through. I wonder how am I doing right now? And oh man, forty-one, forty-one thousand. Huh? I guess all those resources paid off. Excellent. What's a latte? 